everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and today we're going to be reacting to the full moon episode of Hell of a Boss. This is one that I've been really looking forward to. We have finally come back to the Hell of a Boss era of Hell, and for a while we've been like in Has Been Hotel, and like we are getting so infatuated with that show because it really is a good show. I really liked it. I actually got a chance to meet Vivian Medrano at MomoCon the other day, and she was really cool. And I was able to meet Luna herself, played by Erica Lindbeck. It was a really fun con, a really fun day on Saturday, and I'm excited to see what this episode of Hell of a Boss has in store for us, because it's been a while since last year in October since we got an actual episode. So it's really nice to come back here. Let's check this out. Orange is grab violence from language, sexual themes, flashing lights, and you know, demon horniness. What else could you expect from Hell of a Boss? <coughs> God damn. Thank you to the butterflies in my stomach. Going for your rock on this bitch. I've never since I was a little fluffy down messing. My daring do is half disguised behind the smile. My beak is grinding, never minding. Is this is sad that anything, any song in this entire show is so much better than what Dizzy gave us with Wish. Pretty sad. But the music here is really good. Definitely giving me some Disney theater vibes a little bit. Just opposed to his all right, all right. craziness. Are we okay? I can't really say. I'm getting by by avoiding his question. So complicated. I hate when it's complicated. Why do I always end up in situations that are complicated? Here I go again, getting in my head. So I'll focus on the sexy stuff and when I Oh see, God. When I see him, I'm gonna do that. Dangerous the What the heck? Oh my God. Again, Blitz being on brand as usual. Hey, Luna's still at on brand as ever. Am I doing something I can't take back? Relax. What do you want me if he was free? And if he's only here, that's oh, a shit. What kind of monster does that mean? Now we're getting the conflict in their hearts. He taught me that I could choose. So he deserves the choice to stay or go. Though it scares me to think what I'd lose. Can't wait to lose ourselves in nasty sex and make that burn. Oh, oh God. What the fuck is in you windows, man? Oh my god. I always love how even the people tell are surprised by anything Blitz does, like, here in hell, he's able to do whatever he wants now, okay? At least almost anything. Okay, we're in the real world now. Wait a minute. Something about this feels artificial. Are you saying that there's a setup? Holy shit! Oh my goodness, it's obviously a setup. Come on, goody little tissue. Thank you, thank you! How could I ever repay you? No need, ma'am. I was just in the right place at the right time. Oh no, I knew it. <laughs> I'm at underwear level, you know. And that guy clearly hadn't showered today. Oh, stop complaining. I had to sell it, didn't I? How'd we do, Cletus? Not great. Let's head up for another run. I don't know, Cletus. Doesn't this all seem a little 
sinful? We've been over this. We are still helping people. We just provided that man with an opportunity to be selfless and heroic. After that performance, oh my God. he's sure to get down. They are... We just saved a soul. Is they're going to hell. That's how it works. Don't you think if it's they get caught, they're totally going to hell. Bucks and a queen's nose punch card? I, I guess it's just... You want to eat, don't you? Want to live long enough to save more souls and earn our way back into heaven? Of course. I just... Uh... Well, then quiet your incessant whinging and get back under that coat. We have to... Wow. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? Questions here. Hell spawn. But I'm just a little baby. Why would you drop the bullshit? You know you're working for that demon filth. Where's your boss? What boss? This guy. Okay, pretty good drawing. So that's his name. You know, I think maybe we can help each other out here. Oh yeah, because they both hate him. We're gonna team Any up. Beautiful bloody mess in there. Fuck. What a great fucking day this is. Holy shit! You sure see some good spirits today, sir. It's rare to see you wear something. Fucking fine, run well, this bitch. First of all, fuck you. It's the full damn that bloody. I gotta meet up bloody. with Solis tonight. Felt like dressing up a little since it's been a few months since I've been inside of his feathered ass. A few months? Yeah, the birds started months. giving me more ways out of our monthly fuck set. She'd be all like, "Oh, Blitzy, I know it's the full moon tonight, but you don't have to come if you don't want to, Blitzy." So I've just been taking breaks from having to pile his feathered ass into his fancy ass mattress. <sighs> Good yeah, God. Right, sir. Point being, tonight I feel like I could use a little fuckery. It's been a good day, feeling like my stamina's up. Okay. Good morning. Oh shit, he's getting bored of you. What? Yeah, man. If someone wants to see you less and less, big red flag. If they give you chances yeah. to pitch, they probably want out Finally. of Finally. Just want to be more passive. Finally, Eric Lindbeck is getting yes. more speaking roles as a character. How do you know, Luna? <laughs> Spoke too soon. Now she left the episode. Well, tits. Guess I finally got to do position 37 tonight. Don't worry, though. This book ain't going nowhere if I have anything to fuck about it. I'll dick him so good, he'll let us keep this thing another year easy. Well, I hope so, sir. Business has actually hit a peak, and it would be disastrous oh, really? to lose what we worked for now. So fucking good, sir. Don't worry, Mox. By the end of the night, I'll have Solus eating out of my ass. If the gag will let him. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop! Okay, grow up, Mox. That's what adults do. We're horny. Fuck me, Mox. Yeah, but like adults have more so feelings than just that. We have crippling depression there. after work. Moxie, I need you to hold down the board. Get, get some tired. overdue paperwork done. What overdue paperwork? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm pretty sure you just Why made all that up, to be honest. Just fuck with Mox. We just want to get back into... We're exorcists! The flaming swords of the heavens here to strike them down with fire and vengeance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We lay in wait for them to return to Earth, so we might smite them once and for all. Guys, talking about ow. Maybe you don't have to wait. Come with us. Yeah, they're totally teaming up. Are we getting an army of three? Since their assault on Compound X, our government has quadrupled our funding and allowed us unfettered access to the most bleeding edge military advancements. Demonic so they're cloning pre- Hellfire suppression suits! Camouflage exoskeletons okay. and a battalion of highly trained combat- Just an inflatable Luna in there. So could finally utilize this. Our ticket to the other side. An extra dimensional portal generator. Oh shit. This bad boy will allow us to open a door straight to the territory. We plan on eliminating the demonic threat before they can tarnish this great country. Well, uh, they didn't perfect it. Out the kinks, yeah. Kinks. Yeah. So far, we've only been able to open the portal about two feet in diameter. 
hardly big enough to fit a child through. And we can't hmm. very well send children. I have the last time. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Those goddamn American heroes. Honestly, we're not even sure that was how we sent them to. Point is, I we love someone or that someone YouTube is letting you guys get away with this shit. How about it, little guys? Wanna help, help us hunt some demon scum? Cannot wait. This is the team up, the villain team up we've been waiting for. Okay. Looking like the Power Rangers right now. Wait, who's gonna wear. Oh, shit. Okay, so it seems like their seats didn't work or anything. Welcome, little one. What can I interest you in today? I'm looking for a snazzy candle. One that screams sexy. You got anything that'll get anyone in the mood, buddy? Bitch, you're in the lust ring. Everything here has sexy energy. But what candle okay. are you aiming for? Just Even the candles are shaped as good. Very... Very horny. Max horny. They're all horny. What's the mood? I don't know. I'm a simple pervert imp. I just need something fucking. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. Let's take him. Hold on. Where's the rest of them? He wasn't alone before. I say we follow him for a bit. Make sure he's by himself. Cletus, if we don't do this, we're never okay. getting back into heaven. Which is why we have to make sure this you... goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. we yeah, we need to plan this out carefully. To we're totally perfect. not going to fuck this up later. Yeah, exactly. It's just brief you know step on me. Uh, not really, but he's tall as shit. Well, he has some pretty loud harnesses. Also, can you run with something that's stretchy? Ooh, that is fancy. Alright, I'm into it. Okay. Sweet heavens, what kind of store is this? This guy it's truly a sex is shop, a sex shop, little guy. angel. Yeah, but you are stealing also. You are pretty starting to become evil. I we think the spider had a different oh, method of torture than you than you're right. trying to say. As long as it doesn't hurt too much. Like, do you have any harshly worded bumper stickers? Oh no. Uh, or something for a mild spanking? Oh, oh no. You open Pandora's box, guys. <laughs> No, it ain't. Holy shit. No, he's staying in hell. Okay. You know, thanks for doing me this solid fizz. I gotta get the good shit for tonight, and I know you and Oz make the best toys in town. I got you, buddy. We have some new prototypes, and I think we'll get the job done for a fancy gentleman like yourself. You know, it is actually really nice to see Fizz and Bliss now getting along together. I mean, the previous two episodes really did a good job exploring their relationship. Oh, that's beautiful. But, you know, Solus never really seemed into the beads. Oh, right, not into the beads. I get it. Fancier, then. We have some stylish blindfolds. Our new collection has okay. jewels. Oh, shit, those are nice. And if you're feeling really frisky, we have the new Dragon Driller What the fuck? Now with vibration. How? How? Yeah, I will take that. Oh my god, it's going to kill him. What Let's arrest is this place. It's so heavily guarded. Uh, armory? War room? What? Don't you realize Delta's our greatest advantage here? I'm the only 
darling, look. Voyeurs. Positively adorable, darling. <laughs> He's gonna use oh, God, what's that? <laughs> the giant cock, man. He's gonna use that? On an innocent person? No, he's, he's using a. You're right. Okay, the assumptions, you man. The pro. Remember everything that horny little fuck knuckle did to us because now we make him pay for the humans from the heavens and most of all for us. Let's go get some ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you know? Find ya? We were already following our dumbass boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal ticket. Perfect. Yeah, you weren't exactly Best over. team ever. You got a lot of nerve coming to our neighborhood after the ass kicking you took last time. A lot of nerve? And a lot of upgrades, buddy! <laughs> yes! If I'm gonna be honest, I gotta say, I think I prefer a lot of these actresses from Have a Boss than in Has an Hotel. Because they're just so more energetic, visual with their camera movements. Just feels more lively. Like, dude, this shit for an animated project, this feels. Hollywood made. You can play as me, but that doesn't mean you're anywhere close. Ah! Oh shit. Yeah, this this action sequence is great. I love this already. <laughs> yeah, it's really creative too. I love it. Oh shit! Okay, Blitz is not gonna be happy to see that on that bullet on Luna. I wonder if we'll get like a sequence where he uses it. Oh shit. Whoa, Sale! <laughs> oh my god. And Blitz is just so oblivious to the chaos around him. Well, that was a complete failure. Terribly. It went terribly. Hi, ha, hoo, ha, Solis. Guess what I got for us? And I got lots of fun shit for us to play with tonight. Like this extra large candle oh, no. that smells like horny. <laughs> I got, I got what, whatever mm, potential uh, here I could well, see. Dias, but I'm sure there's some place in your cloaca we can stick it. Oh and no! This bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's not interested. Do you, do you have my book? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's right here. I always bring it. Why do you? I need it back permanently. No, no, no. Ho hold on, Solus. Come on. Oh, no. Is this because I've taken up skipping a few rounds with you in bed because I'm busy? That ain't fair. All right, I, I, I can still hold up my end of the bargain. All right, let, let me show you a good time tonight. You know I can. Please don't say it like that, Blitz. I Come on, bitch. You know I don't disappoint. No, 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 no. There's no need. I've made up my mind. Solus, please, don't. I, I need this book. Please. I need this book, Solus. I will do anything. This is an Asmodian crystal. It's registered in your name. A uh, what? Asmodeus huh? has his demons legally travel to Earth for work all the time. Wait. I made the case for you to own one. 
you will be technically under his jurisdiction, but you will be able to go anywhere you want in the human realm without fear of consequence. Without breaking demon law. Okay. You no longer need my grimoire. What? You no longer have any obligation to see me, to touch me, to bed me. You are... you are free of me. I don't understand. Why are you giving me this? Am I not, like, fucking you good enough? Because I can always... I can always do better. Blitz, I'm giving you this because... Oh, yeah, she has feelings now. Very deeply for you. And I have for some time. But this transactional thing we have, it's not right anymore. It hasn't been... It never was. And now, all I can see is how wrong it is to be so tethered to someone in such an unfair way. And okay. not know how they feel. But I want you to continue to be who you are. Your business. You don't have to stay here with me. But I want you to... I want you to stay here with me. Because you want to. Only if you want to. Okay, alright, you're fucking with me. This is an interesting roleplay. Never done this one, but I can get into it. Alright, how's it going? Oh, Stolas, I'll stay with you. I love you so much. I Thank you, Blitz. For awakening me. Or making me so Oh, no, Even man. if only for a little while. You didn't read the signs. Wait, what? You are serious? Oh, hold on now, Sauce. What the fuck? I have my answer, Blitz. You needn't say anything. I have wanted you for so long. The fact that you couldn't believe that I might have these feelings about you, that your first instinct is that it's always... about sex. That's enough to know what this is. What?! Fuck you, Stolas! You spring this feelings bullshit on me! Are you fucking kidding? Can I get a fucking minute to think after everything you put me through, you pompous, rich oh, asshole? Treat me like one of your little butler imps! You can't just dismiss me like that! I mean, you royal fucks think you can do this every time, and you can just God play with damn. our feelings because we're smaller and not as important! Well, I'm not letting you, bitch! Let's go! Blitz, I think so very highly of you. I didn't realize you think so low of me. <laughs> Goodbye, Blitz. So let's wait. Oh, shit. What? Ah. Fuck! Yeah, you fucked up, man. That was a good episode. I really like that. And it does seem like with this ending, we are going through a narrative here now. And I feel like we are purposefully left hanging as what is going to happen next in the story. And I felt like there was a lot of stuff in like the trailer. That is to put a show even more with the same characters like teaming up together that we haven't gotten in this episode. So I feel like it's all going to lead towards something at the very end. Like we're now going to follow a narrative. Again, I could be wrong, but it seems like that's what we're going with here now. With this, and we got the logo here with this uh, new, with this new like. Uh, row of episodes coming out so I'm very interested to see where this goes so far the story here is great it's all it's great to see Erica Limbach return as Luna once again with her speaking roles like she's been absent because of some personal stuff in her life so it's really nice to hear to see her back I really like her as a character seeing how the team is still able to work very well as a team all the action and chaos and madness, the potential with Earth and Heaven in a way coming together to try and face off Hell, except the twist is that they are becoming more so the antagonists here. So, a lot of moving parts here, a lot of setup going on. But 
I like where it's going. I'm interested to see how this story progresses. As always, the animation and music is great. Cannot complain about all of that. Technically, this is still a really well-made episode. So overall, I really like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>